Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll look in the scenario in which Czech Chef forms an empire. Why Czech Chef? Because they have had empires in the past, such as Bohemia. Yep, exactly. They have been strong before, as they expanded into Germany during the HRE. And while their first business of attack or plan would be to invade their neighbor Slovakia, why wouldn't it? Well, why would it? Nobody even knows. But they do border four countries, two of which are definitely stronger, and I believe Austria might be stronger too. And so they move in, quickly taking Bratislava, and within like a week, they're across the country. And one of their first moves after crossing that country is just full annexation, as they're trying to expand. But Hungary kind of backs Austria. But Czechia knows this, so they have their troops prepared on both of their borders. As they invade them both at once. Which they succeed in. As they move down a river and quickly move into Budapest taking it. Because yeah, they got this strong somehow. As they quickly move into Vienna too. With Hungary collapsing, same with Australia. Wait, what? Austria? Who calls Austria Australia? As they decide, well, why don't we have full annexation again? Why would they decide full annexation? Because they're trying to expand into an empire. And right now, they kind of look like the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Without half of, without a bunch of its land. And while the Chechen Empire decides, well, why not invade into the Balkans? And then declaring war on Slovenia and Croatia. As they don't want to expand too deep, maybe. Unless they have to. And then they're planning on attacking Romania. And Poland. As they move to the coast, finally. And they start building boats. And trading by water. Empire getting pretty big. And while well, a few nations start faring this. Including Germany. Serbia. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Italy. Poland. Ukraine. And well, yeah, kind of these few nations as these nations are right on their border, kind of. But will this actually work? Who knows? Well, fine, it won't really work, but the countries think it will because they don't realize this is an empire video. And while some countries think they'll get invaded like Ukraine, but there's no actual, which they will, but other countries like Bosnia and Serbia, there's like no plans to invade them. But they do plan to invade Romania, which is why this alliance gets triggered in the first place. And everybody's ready for this war. I guess we can say safely, Czechia wasn't expecting this, but they did know it could happen. So they do have ready for this, but are they really ready? Let's see how their readiness goes. They have a defensive amount of forces, which get pushed back at first here. Before they even start their invasion of Romania. They get pushed into Austria and slightly back into Czechia. Poland pushes down into... The Slovakian area and a bit of Croatia, a bit of Czechia. And then they hold the front. But after they get this front held, they go on some offensive action. And, well, their offensive action goes well. And then they invade Bosnia because they don't have a choice. And Croat and Serbia. Why am I saying Croatia repetitively? Nobody knows. 
But Ukraine starts sending forces to help Romania. They might have to accept a bit of a defeat. But they their forces start coming into Bosnia. More fronts. Which are starting to leave to a smaller front. With Serbian and Romanian forces kicking Croatia back. And them even launching a small offensive. But a small counter offensive is led by Hungary here. As they start moving into Ukraine to make it harder to get weapons to Romania. And while this front gets pushed all the way back. And while Bosnia quickly collapses, and while the forces quickly flood into Serbia, as they encircle Serbia's capital, Belgrade, and take it. And it's not long after this happens that, well, Bulgaria joins the war. Which is actually a big shock. And well... Bulgaria moves up into Romania's coast, which helps Hungary move faster into Romania. And while with the collapse of Serbia inevitable at this point, it's starting. Serbia removes their troops from this offensive, which makes it less effective. And they get pushed right back. There's no point in even trying anymore for them, but they do continue. As Bulgaria starts an invasion of Ukraine. Quite literally. But Ukraine is being invaded by two nations right now. With Romania's front being about to be encircled, but then they quickly make the strategic choice of Removing these forces with Bulgaria moving in towards capital, encircling it, and taking it. Then they move up here and do this, kinda. And Romania finally gives up. And then a defensive is made with Ukraine. As a weak spot has been found with the Italian border. Which leads them to push Italy back. A pretty far distance, of course. Then they come to a treaty and continue. As, well, in the treaty, Bulgaria expanded greatly, Romania lost a lot of its territory, and the Czech Empire is getting pretty strong, which is pretty good for them, I guess. As their march into Italy starts going pretty well, with a speeding up and then moving into Venice and taking the city. As they quickly move across the boot. Wait, what? Yeah, they move right across Italy. They go around Rome and they take Rome and then they do this. As you can tell, what are they even doing? I don't know. But the Bulgarian advance continuing. Well, Serbia is a new papa and the Croatian papa is now connected. As Bulgaria's advance in the Ukraine goes well and so does... Czechs, who quickly gets to Lviv and takes it. And yeah. With Bulgaria landing in Crimea and taking back what they stared at. That. Ukraine was shocked by this. So they just walked out of the war like it never happened. And while Poland expects attacks first. So is Germany, so they send forces to the Polish front, but they attack the German front. But they said they would attack the Polish front. What a trick. Like, how do you end up walking into that trick, Poland? And well, the Czech Empire gets really strong. This is, like, kind of odd for a Czech Empire. It seems a bit big. Well, then again, all empires are big. But they're moving up towards Berlin and taking it. With Germany forced to give up. 
Italy did the same a while ago. Well, all that's left is Poland. Who says Poland, 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 Poland. Yep, Poland, don't poll. Poland, really? And Poland said, just when I thought you were my friend. Fine, they probably said that long before, but you know. I mean, yeah. You could say that could be revenge from the 1930s. As Poland did take a sliver of land. They probably shouldn't have. And then Poland is forced to leave the war. And the Czech Empire is ready to make peace. That's pretty strong with Crimea up in the Ukraine, stretching all the way from almost Belgrade. And then we have the Czech Empire, which does not look that great. Of borders. Honestly, I think it might have different borders on the thumbnail because, well, it's a bit of an eyesore. Fine, it's not that bad. Actually, the borders look pretty cool. It looks like it has a bit of a head right there. And, well, yeah. It has. A back. No, it looks like a butterfly, actually. See? You know how I can prove it does? If I put a green line right here. Now you can see it looks like a butterfly, can't you? And well... How do you think their relations are? Probably not great with a lot of the world. Of Romania deciding, well, I might as well show the world that I'm expanding. And Bulgaria is ready to expand. But unfortunately, this isn't your video, Bulgaria. I'm very sorry. And Ukraine, this wasn't your video. That would never happen in a wild man per video. Unless it's an empire video. Because, well, can that really happen to you? Probably not. Maybe by the USA. Fine, they probably can't. But that's besides the point. Nobody can ever beat someone. It's just as well as give up. Or face the consequences. Face the consequences. It's just as well. And well, they're pretty strong looking. And then Ukraine... Actually, that's not Ukraine. Oh, where'd they go? Okay, I guess maybe this wasn't their day. Okay, they might have disappeared. Oh, I just realized. Oh, they went back to the real world. Yep, they left this dimension that they didn't like. And well, they're back to our dimension. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Also, Ukraine is not gone. They're going to be back. But they want to go back to where? A different place. Where I'm not the god. And saying, yeah, you can have that. You can have that. Maybe. I don't even know. And yeah. The Russian army also got sunk. Okay. Maybe that wasn't that great. And every dangerous nuke also went down with it. Wait, what? Okay. That's pretty good. Seems like this world got a bit good. Well, they're probably going to come back. Probably. Maybe not. I don't even know. Or maybe they learned to live under the water. Who even knows? Let's go to the Czech Empire. It's pretty strong. And we got 39 subscribers left to go. Let me just check that real fast. And so I hope we we only have 39 if that's the case. But we might have grown since then. Might have grown. 262. 38 subscribers to go till 400. Which is our goal by the end of this month. So guys, please like, subscribe, comment. That'd be great. That's all for today's video. Wild map.